we're going to draw the Lewis structure for FeN, which is iron 3 nitride. Step one, agree with me that iron will be drawn with three valence electrons to start. If the charge on iron here had have been two, you know, iron 2 nitride, then you'd draw it with two valence electrons. But here it's clearly three. We're going to draw it with one, two, three valence electrons. The loss of these three electrons is what's going to make this into the iron three plus ion. Nitrogen is a non-metal. In group 15, it's going to bring five valence electrons with it. So I'm going to draw an N here and do one, two, three, four, five. Note that I spread them out before I started doubling them up. Now, iron is a metal. You probably know that just by knowing what iron is. And nitrogen is a non-metal that comes from the right-hand side of that staircase. A metal and a non-metal combined will make an ionic compound, which means there's a transfer of electrons from metal to non-metal. Specifically, the non-metals are probably going to want to satisfy the octet rule, which is that they want eight electrons in their outer shell. This nitrogen currently has five. It needs three more to complete its octet. So iron will donate one, two, and three electrons to nitrogen. That leaves the iron atom empty, which is also a form of stability. At least it's empty in its outer shell, I should say. And nitrogen will have a complete octet in its outer shell, so that makes them both happy. The complete Lewis structure for iron 3 nitride is an Fe ion with no valence electrons shown and a plus 3 charge because you lost 3 negatively charged electrons. Losing negatives makes you plus. And the nitrogen is going to have its one, two, three, four, five valence electrons that it started with, plus the one, two, three that it got from iron. You're going to give it a charge of minus three because it has three extra negative charges. This here is the complete Lewis structure for iron three nitride. Thanks for being with me and best of luck.